early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. Just because our equipment's old, doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. We got we strict rules around the largest, here. Most They're strict for a reason. Constructed of Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. Now that we know what's out there, things are going to be more interesting from here on out. Never seen a ship like yours before. Then again, I haven't so, seen any ships are. before you arrived. Let's talk. Wow. I. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? Ah, oh, so they have a name. Paradiso. And it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here. But we assume that they intend to defend their claim, given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution. Preferably one that favours us. Excellent. Make no mistake, this is our planet and we intend for them to see this our way. So, speak with their leadership and see if you can negotiate a solution on our behalf. Preferably, get them to see things our way. Report back to me and let me know what they say, and we'll go from there. Thank you, and Godspeed. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. entire life in the constant. I'm not sure how else to live. worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. It's some kind of celestial. D. 
do so is absolutely beautiful. Can you possibly imagine a more tranquil place for a resort? We try to stay out of our guests' way. But we're always here if needed. Hi there. Oh, this looks like a lovely place for a stay. Might also be the perfect time to stop for some food or a tranquility. Where should we begin? We've got stuff. If you need stuff. <sighs> Welcome to Paradiso Gift Shop in Convenience. Feel free to look around, but don't break anything or you've got to buy it. And before you ask, there aren't any discounts. So don't even try to ego with me. Yes, that's what I'm here for. Have fun out there. Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? I really don't, and I can't have you barging in on the executives while they're working. So if you need something, you can talk to me. That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. I'll make some time for you, but keep it quick, yeah? I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But, given these circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> ah, we're being direct then. Good on ya! <laughs> so, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not gonna work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. We own this planet. They don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance.
Well, absurd or not, that's our official stance. I make the decisions that are best for our entire group. You don't. Well, I need to say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract for room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their continued room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs> And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. They'd be hard pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that charter's official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. I know this was a difficult decision. But if it's any consolation, I think you've made the right choice. Compared to the destruction of their vessel and relegating them to a life of servitude, I'd say this is the best chance they've got. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. There There's are something I need to talk to you about. Out there. People can go to any one of them. Thanks for taking time to chat. I, I really today. need a friendly ear right and about now. I received a message now. from Constellation, uh, and it's given me a lot to think just about. another artificial, shady, trash fiddle dump like Neon. That's not who we are. We've got not at all. special here. It's just we a list of requests, but when you read between oh, the lines, it's obvious Thanks. my absence is I... causing issues. We don't want to compete with Neon. Bayou's ruthless. He'll do anything he can to eliminate the competition. We don't need that kind of trouble. That being said, Something like that. <laughs> It's difficult to explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. I'll look into what that will cost us, and we can circle back around to this. If you want to help, I feel like I need to give you some background. Just bear with me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Some more than others. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. Bye-bye. I'm sure you realize how generous our office is. Thanks for taking time to... I received a mess... Friends. Not at all. It's just a list of... Something like that. Before I... Yeah, sure. You see, at the end of the... Oh, like hell I can't. You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. I failed, because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. If I had fought harder, I'm convinced our division may have had a chance to prove its value. That's just it, though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. Well, that brings us to this message now, doesn't it? Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. 
It elevates me to these positions of authority. But all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure all the accounts are balanced. Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Matteo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. <sighs> you have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. Of course you do. I'm just not thinking straight right now. Phew, this has taken a lot out of me, so maybe we should just leave things right here. But thank you for being there and listening. It helped. It really did. I've been working on a new marketing slogan. Live it in Paradiso. No major incidents in a while. Let's hope it stays that way. I'm here to help if you need it. We've got some of the best private security. Star Yard and see if they have anything interesting for sale. I don't want to hear any complaints. She does. 
does is goes on and on about how her youngest has made it. Tells everyone. Excuse me. New face, huh? Got some business with me or just learning the lay of the land? Well, it's a public space. As long as you don't interfere with my work, you're welcome to stop by any time. Ranger Niakalu. I'm a Hopetown girl born and raised, so I know a lot of the locals. Helps me do the job. That... Likewise. Bye. Excuse me, excuse me! A little desperate here! I remember meeting Ron Hope once. Idealistic oh, and perhaps a Deep bit of a breath. dreamer. <laughs> but you have to admire what he's accomplished. Oh, God. Right. Right. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. Where to start? So. I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. Just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? <laughs> you get it then. So I just got assigned to the Markab. The first shipment, slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. I don't know. I was just flying for my life. But some bad people want it. I'm getting to that part. Sorry. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe... You can deal with the tracker? You are the best! This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. Ron hopes the best thing that's happened to us. Yes. What? You ready to do some business? Some rules. If there's one place there's some law and order in this town, it's here. Don't even think about stealing anything. No haggling. The price is the price. And might be some other rules. Don't be an ass. I didn't start this way. Got myself robbed a few times. Swindle the couple. So now I look out for number one. And it's not like there's anywhere else on this rock to buy weapons. You may be thinking this place is a dump, but the hardware isn't. Lots of customers pass through. We got something for everyone. That's what I'm here for.
pardon. Hello. Hey. A things for you. Yeah. Yep, here you go. Talk to you later. Okay, hello. I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? What's your name, stranger? I buy you a drink. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markab? I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the truth. Looks like a place that doesn't mind some color. Or you can surrender. I trank you up, deliver you, they kill you. Nobody ever picks that option. Yeah. They never see me coming. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. Damn it! At least give him a chance to explain first. Sorry, nothing personal. Always something good on around here. I heard the fighting. I'm so sorry. Take this reward. I have to go before another tracker arrives. Thank you. Ah, oh, and isn't that a cheery thought? Just need a few supplies and I'm gone for good. Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. 